So picture this, you're strolling through the bustling streets of ancient Rome and you chance upon a lupinar. Now, what's a lupinar, you ask? Well, let's just say it was a place where customer satisfaction was taken very seriously. The walls were adorned with the expressive artistry of satisfied patrons, etching their tails for all to see. Makes you rethink that Yelp review you left last week, doesn't it? So the next time you leave a review, remember the Romans did it first, and they did it in stone. Let's sail away to the shores of ancient Greece where the real heroes knew how to multitask. Meet the Hetere, the era's intellectual companions. These ladies could argue philosophy with the acuity of Aristotle, all while strumming a mean tune on the lyre. They were spinning plates before the circus even existed, juggling discourse and harmonies like nobody's business. So, if you think you're good at multitasking just remember, the Hetairai were doing it before it was cool. Now dust off your clay tablets and hitch a ride on a camel to the dazzling cityscapes of Mesopotamia. In the cradle of civilization where the Tigris and Euphrates serenade the sands, some nocturnal nymphs were not just about the shekels. Oh no, they were on a divine mission, serving as celestial concubines in the luminescent lounges of Lady Ishtar. Babylonian boudoirs bustling with heavenly hustles. Talk about a sacred soiree where business meets mysticism. Let's float over to ancient China where some women knew how to make even emperors wait. Picture this, the Yangtze River, home to the flower boats. Aboard these floating palaces, courtesans held court, their allure so powerful, emperors queued up like commoners. With a wave of their silk fans these ladies could make or break a dynasty. Who needs a throne when you've got a flower boat, right? So next time you're stuck in a line, remember, you're not waiting. You're getting the VIP treatment ancient China style. Last but not least, let's trot to medieval England, where the term goosebumps takes on a whole new meaning. Picture this, you're wandering through the dimly lit streets of Winchester when you encounter a gaggle of ladies. They're not just any ladies, they're the Winchester geese, the ladies of the night if you catch my drift. Now, here comes the fun part. These ladies were protected by none other than the bishop himself. No, no, don't go getting any scandalous ideas. The church wasn't running a business, they were simply, how shall we put it, collecting rent. Yes, that's right, the church was their landlord. Imagine that, a bishop playing property manager to a flock of geese. It's a plot twist worthy of a medieval sitcom, isn't it? So the next time you get goosebumps, remember it all started with the Winchester geese.